Hello manifestors, it is Olivia Grace and I'm back with another video. In this video, we are going to be doing a seven day robotic affirming affirmation challenge. And I'm going to explain exactly how we're going to do it. What I really intend with this challenge is for this challenge to really change your life. And I mean that seriously, and to even change your manifestation abilities. And that's how I chose what we're going to be affirming. Um, I also have a pro tip that I'm going to share with you guys about how I manifest in the moment when I'm seeing something that I don't like. Um, and that's just going to help transform your manifestation game. And I also have some extra credit for those of you that are really serious about getting exactly what you want within the seven day period and for the rest of your life, for the rest of your manifestation career. Um, which is eternity, I guess. <laughs> um, so yeah, so if you're interested in that, and if you're interested in the Law of Assumption, you should subscribe and be a part of this channel. Um, and you should just go ahead and like the video. The only reason you should like the video is because you can't love it, because it's definitely going to help you get what you want and have a better understanding of manifestation. Um, so I'm Olivia Grace, this is Master Manifestor channel, where obviously I talk about manifestation, law of assumption. I want to start doing more challenges like this. I want to start um, creating like more meditations and things. So if that's of interest to you, then subscribe because I feel like um, the law of assumption community could use some like more meditations that are more along that thought process. Um, okay. So the first thing before I get into the challenge, um, I want to talk about why I'm starting to do challenges because what I really like to do on this channel is explain things. That's what people really love about my channel is how I explain things. Um, but I realized that there, you know, there's this high that you get, um, from watching manifestation videos. Um, and you, you feel powerful, you feel inspired, you feel motivated, especially when you're like binge watching like your favorite YouTuber um, or you come across someone new and you just love how they explain things. But that may make you feel good in the moment, but it's not going to change your assumptions and it's not going to change your beliefs. That is something that you have to actually do. You have to actually apply what you are uh, hearing about and what you're learning to really see um, changes in your life, obviously. But not only that, it's going to teach you about your own self because everybody is their own person. Everybody's manifestation process, thought process is different. And you can only find that out by going on your own journey and persisting through and seeing what actually works for you and what doesn't, right? So that's why I've started to come out with challenges and I have so many more. So definitely subscribe if you guys like stuff like that. But this one I think is going to be really, I know is going to be really amazing and really powerful. Um, so be doers of the word, not just hearers. That's not going to do anything for you other than make you feel amazing, right? So let's get into, um, oh, speaking of that, I just did a challenge. The first challenge that I did was a revision challenge. Uh, which is revision is probably my most popular like topics that you guys like for me to talk about. Um, so I'll put my revision playlist like on here and in the video somewhere. But um, I did my revision challenge and I did the challenge. Like I actually revised every single day and I got incredible results. Like so much like crazy movement with my SP. My rent went down almost a hundred dollars, like out of the blue during me doing this challenge. And again, because I actually did it, I got the results. So I'll put that challenge, um, also along with my revision playlist in the description. Um, but I'm saying that because I want you guys, like, I want you guys to not just get what you want, and this is going to perfectly go into what the challenge is and what we're affirming and how we're doing this. I want you guys to not only get what you want, but I want you to enjoy it. I want you to be happy. I want you to enjoy your life, right? That's the reason why I started teaching manifestation because I felt like people deserve to be happy. People deserve to know that they can play a part in their happiness and do play a part in their happiness. So the challenge that I have for you guys is going to be sort of an umbrella affirmation, self-concept type of challenge. So the affirmation, two affirmations that we're using 
is everything in my life is perfect and I'm a perfect manifester. Those two are the affirmations that you're going to use. And you're going to loop these in the back of your head robotically. For me, I want you guys to do this at the bare minimum 10 minutes a day. But what I really would love is for you to do this all day. When you're not needing your brain to interact with someone or something, if you're just sitting there watching TV or you're just sitting there driving or brushing your teeth or cooking, cleaning, like I want you to be repeating this mantra. For the first two days or first couple days, maybe first few hours, whatever, it may be difficult. I know for me, my mind runs around and I have to bring it back. But that is part of the process. That's part of the growth. It's part of you learning how to discipline your mind, which is monumental, which is the whole shebang, basically, when it comes to manifestation, is being able to concentrate on what what you're trying to uh, create rather than just what's in front of you, okay? So you're going to take those two affirmations. My life is perfect. Everything in my life is perfect. And I'm a perfect manifester. And you're just going to loop that. Everything in my life is perfect. I'm a perfect manifester. Everything in my life is perfect. I'm a perfect manifester. Okay. So you're looping that all day. Now here's extra credit, right? So you can also do a rampage because obviously we probably have multiple things that we're manifesting. In my last video, I was talking about how for me, it's easier for me to focus on like one or two desires at a time. And then I was like, well, you could use an umbrella affirmation. And that's kind of where this idea came from because you absolutely can manifest multiple things at once. Um, but I feel like, you know, when we're focused on specifics, we can have resistance to things. We can feel, you know, um, have a story that's very ingrained in us that can be kind of opposing what we're affirming, right? Um, but with this, we don't really have too much resistance to that. Your brain is not going to fight you too much on everything is perfect. I'm a perfect manifester because it's so general. It's not specific enough to trigger you or to kind of call something up for you. And even if it is, it, it should be easier for you to break through that, right? So for specific things, you can rampage once a day. This is pro, like, this is like extra credit. You don't have to, but rampage once a day about how perfect everything in your life is. So I have the perfect body, I have the perfect skin, I have the perfect relationship, I have the perfect money, I have the perfect job, I have the perfect whatever. Like I'm I'm so good at manifesting, like I'm the perfect manifester. I you know, I'm perfect at living the perfect life. Like whatever you want to do specifically, you could like focus on that. I have the perfect health, right? Now, here's the other thing and here's the pro tip, right? Um is when your opposing thoughts pop up, right, which they're honestly going to pop up a lot less because you're giving your mind something to focus on, which is that everything is perfect. And another great thing before I get into the pro tip is that because this is general, you guys are going to start seeing results very quickly. You're going to start seeing things work out for you, things that you've been trying to manifest that haven't, things you may even forgot about that will manifest for you because you're focused on basically things, go, everything in your life working out for you. I talked about shifting to your highest timeline um, like a couple months ago, and um, that was actually when I also got big movement with my SP was when I stopped focusing specifically and started focusing on me being in my highest timeline, me experiencing every single thing that I want to experience. Giving yourself just that to, to focus on is so easy and so effective because you're basically getting around all of the resistance that the specifics calls up for you, right? So now, what about when you see circumstances, right? And this I was slash maybe will still make a full video on, but this is what I do, you guys, as like when I manifest, and I use this to manifest instantly all the time. Um, for me, you guys, manifestation is like, someone's calling me. I don't know if you guys, I hope you guys can still hear me. Oh. <laughs> I, don't, I hope you guys can still hear me, um, but in case not, because someone was calling me. <laughs> but um, yes, I use manifestation like on autopilot. And so I just think of things like the way that I want them to go, no matter what it looks like in front of me, right? So an example of that 
is I was actually telling my mom, like, you know, you guys know how like when you're on the airplane and your ears like get stuffed up and it hurts. Like, I decide for myself that that's not going to happen, right? And if it starts to happen, I deny it, right? So what I call it is mental rejection, right? You're, you're just, I mentally reject anything that is not the way that I want it to go. Or if I'm seeing something that I don't want to see, if I'm hearing something, somebody's telling me bad news about someone, or I'm getting bad news for myself, I'm literally like, no, like this is literally, it's like someone referred to it as like gaslighting yourself. And, um, you know, people say like, you know, Delulu is the Salulu, like, and, and some people feel like manifesting is not delusional but to me I feel like it is you I mean looking at something and saying that it's something else I don't know what else you call that right um and the way this guy had explained it he was like well it's because you know that what's in front of you is going to change right and I get that but that can also create kind of like a, a needing to like this buffer time of it's not what I want right now but it will be right which is fine like wherever you fall at is okay but anyways back to what I'm talking about when I see something happen like this happened to me just now I was I was flying to Florida and I start to feel my ears fill up with pressure and as it's doing it's like I'm like no it's not no it's not like I said it's not so it's not right and for me it's about having supremacy of the mind right there's a my July 30 day challenge that I have tagged. It's my only playlist that I consistently tag in every video because it really, that challenge, that was a 30 day video challenge that I did, but it focuses all about your supremacy of your mind, your God self, your God state and thinking and manifesting from that place, right? So me knowing that I have supremacy of my mind, I'm not concerned about what's in front of me, right? I'm looking at what's in front of me and I'm still persisting in the decision that I made of what it's going to be, even if it is something physically that I feel, right? Have you have, have you guys ever seen the episode of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air where um, Will is going to school like posing as Ashley's like parents and he has a fake mustache on and his mustache like comes off like it's like hanging off his face <laughs> and no, no, it's not hanging off his face. He has a fake mustache and the teacher finds him out. <laughs> And she rips his mustache off and she's like, this is a fake mustache. And he's like, no, it's not. <laughs> I always think about that. Like, that's how I, that it's like, well, clearly she's holding the mustache in her hand. Obviously it's a fake mustache, but he's still persisting in his lie, right? And for him it's a lie, but you know, you know what I'm saying? Like manifestation wise, like you're persisting in what you said it was, per period. You kind of are like slight, like slick, like gaslighting yourself, I guess. I don't like to say that because that has like a negative connotation. But you are, when you realize that what you're seeing currently is a product of what you've been telling yourself. It's a product of the story that you've been telling yourself. So it doesn't matter. And that's the way that I see it. It doesn't matter whether it changes in that moment or it doesn't, or it takes a few days, a few months or whatever. The more that I continue to look at whatever and call it good, the quicker and better it's going to be for me. It does you literally no good to look at anything and accept it, right? And I can see in my own life that the things that I look at and accept that because I see it like this, this is what it is, those are the things that I struggle with, right? The things that I'm able to look at and see beyond and see what I see, you know what I mean, are the things that I'm able to change in an instant. And I do it all the time. I do it all the time. I do it with, you know, like if I have an ache or pain or something like that, I'm like, no, it's not. That's impossible because I'm defined perfection expressed. So I can't be ill. I can't be sick. You know what I mean? No, it's not. Like anytime somebody tells me bad news, no, they didn't. No, they didn't. Like, no. Oh, I'm not feeling well. Yeah, you are. No, you're, you're, you're so much better. How are you feeling today? Mm, not so good yet. Yeah, no, no, you're not. Like, <laughs> that's just... <laughs> Like, and just try it, you guys, like, because you'd be surprised. And what this really takes is being able to be childlike, being able to be imaginative, right? And this is something that people really skip over. Like, ah, I don't need to do that. I, I got real world problems. I'm a grown up. I'm a this or that. And that holds you. That holds you to the physical world, right? It's literally just like uh, Peter Pan, you know, or on Hook when he went and they were eating the imaginary food and he couldn't eat it until he believed you know it wasn't real until he believed it right so 
it 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 sounds so childish and like whatever but it's it really it's funny because it's it's actually funny like when you think about how like hilarious like the universe is because it knows the universe puts you in all these serious situations and serious circumstances and the only way for you to get out of it is to be like a child and to be imaginative and the universe knows that that's like the last thing that you're probably going to do you know that's what makes this game so potent and simple and hard and all of these things at the same time right but anyways that was a whole tangent but that is what i invite you guys to do mental rejection so back to the challenge when you're robotically affirming everything in my life is perfect something happens right or something's not going your way that's impossible no reject it that i feel like is a part that is missing because we're trying to take on the new story as well as holding on to the old story and we're not focusing on the fact that you have to drop the old story that you have to mentally reject the old story you can be aware right like if you have to pay your bill tomorrow you can be aware that okay i have to pay my bill tomorrow you can be aware that, oh, it, like it, I can see like right now I don't have that money, but you need to mentally be like, yes, I do. Like, you know what I mean? And I'm intending that that makes sense. I'm I'm not going to keep going on and on because I prob maybe will. I don't know. You guys can let me know if you want me to go in more depth about that. I am going to be making a 3D video. So maybe I'll talk about that in that video. Um, but that's really it. The last thing that I will say um, that I think is helpful is for you guys to come back to the video and leave results and read results. I will be updating with my results of things that are manifesting for me. I also think that I'm going to start posting lives in my, um, group again, because I like people are joining my group again and I haven't been like active, very active in there. Um, so I may just start posting like more personal, like smaller success stories, like everyday stuff that happens on there. Um, but come back to this video, you guys. Comment your successes. Comment your movement. Comment even when you think it's small. It may be big to somebody else. It may be that thing that helps someone else have faith, you know? Um, so, yeah. Come back. Bring your successes. Read other successes. Stay encouraged. But for seven days, you are focusing all your manifestational energy. And here's the ask, you guys. I want you to, if you're focusing on something specific, especially... If it's something specific that is not like something that is like not bringing you joy, that is like stressing you out or whatever, I want you to drop that for the week, for the week. You will be okay. Okay. Again, when you think of that, of course it's, of course it's going my way. If it's SP, oh, SP is doing this. No, of course, of course we're perfect. Like our relationship is perfect. Of course, whatever, because everything in my life is perfect. Okay. But I want you to keep your focus on everything in your life being perfect rather than the specifics, because the specifics is what can kind of, you know, throw you off your path. Right. So everything in my life is perfect. I'm a perfect manifester. Right. And this is going to help you believe, like help you build your belief in your manifestational abilities, which is something that will help so many of you guys. Just believing that I can manifest, not even necessarily believing in what you're trying to manifest, but just believing that you're powerful enough to do this. You're powerful enough to create your reality. That's going to aid you so much and not just this challenge, but forever right? So let's create some new neural pathways of everything in our life being perfect. And I'm a perfect manifester. Affirm that in your background all day. Rampage once a day if you want to. Mentally reject anything that is showing opposition and come back and bring your successes. Like the video if you like it. Comment if you would like to. It helps the channel. Share it if you would like to share with your manifestational besties. Um, and yeah, you guys feel free to play with like subliminals, affirmations about your life being perfect. Um, maybe I will put some, I actually will because it's going to help you guys. I'll put some in the um, description for you guys. But other than that, I have links in the description. If you want coaching, you guys can join my membership. If you guys want to come along my personal journeys with manifestation. But other than that, I love you guys so much. I will see you soon in another video.